Alright, let's beat the Green Wraith boss in Eastern Exorcist on hard mode. Carry the energy wave. This boss has a bunch of quick attacks and can be really dangerous if you get up close and personal. My strategy here to go flawless is to try to get far enough away that it triggers the boss to throw its energy wave along the ground so I can just keep parrying it basically. Charged attacks do the most to stagger this boss but they also put you in the most danger if it decides to do one of its fast attacks. It can hit you instantly if you're not careful. Basically for that not to happen you really just have to be patient exploit that wave attack with parries and counters. So wave, parry, counter. No, I was too far away, but he's staggered, so it's fine. Charged attacks and follow-ups to charged attacks keep him staggered for a little while. I also have Spellblade as my skill, so that my dashing and dodging hurls flying swords at him when I'm on the run or dashing away from his attacks. But pretty much I'm trying to get around, away to around about here, parry that, and then yeah, see what I mean with his fast attacks? Parry that, it knocks him down, hit him with some charged attacks and some follow-ups, and then get back to parry distance. And that's pretty much it for this fight. If your back is to him while you're dodging him and he throws those waves at you, you're better off just jumping over them instead of trying to turn around and parry them. Sometimes when you turn around to parry them, it just doesn't parry it properly. So yeah, like there, like I want to jump, and then jump again, and then reset, and then parry the next one. And that's his fast attack. He'll really hit you with it if you're not careful. If you parry his wave and he does the fast attack, you can immediately hold block, and that will defend against damage from that. So it's not, it won't go through your block. Parry. No. Too far away. Parry. So yeah, so long as you keep your distance, he's really got not a lot he can do to you if you nail those parries. And that's it for the Green Wraith. He's quite a tough boss if you don't keep your distance, but if you do, he's not all that. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.